Hi, my name is Pete D'Amato, and I'm the Data Visualization Developer at the Heckinger Report. Today I'll be walking you through the College Scorecard tool and showing you how to get, use it to get information on postgraduate earnings by institution. In part two of this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to download and use the raw data that powers the tool. The College Scorecard was originally envisioned by President Barack Obama as a rating system for colleges and universities. While it did not end up offering such a rating system once it was released in 2015, the tool currently provides data on metrics such as completion rates, earnings, and student loan debt burden of graduates for more than 5,000 institutions of higher education. The tool is located at the URL collegescorecard.ed.gov. When you first navigate to the site, you'll see a search bar that allows you to bring up the profiles of institutions. To get to the data profile of an individual institution, simply start typing the name of the school in the search bar and this tool will fill in all of the institutions that match that query. You can also search by abbreviations. For instance, the tool recognizes both FSU and Florida State University all spelled out. However, this feature is not perfect and not every school's abbreviation will match an entry in the system. From this page, we can also search by field of study. Entering and selecting a major or other field of study will bring up a list of all of the institutions that offer that program to students. If you plan to look at median incomes for a specific field of study across various institutions, this is a good way to find the colleges and universities offering it. We're going to first look at institutional profiles for individual schools. So we'll navigate to search schools, type in FSU, and click on Florida State University. What you see on this page is a preview of the institution, showing the sector, details about the campus characteristics, size of its enrollment, as well as graduation rate, average annual cost, and importantly for us, median salary after completion. The data on earnings is a range of median earnings at the institution by field of study. Clicking on the school name brings us to the full profile. In addition to data that covers things such as costs, financial aid, and various student loan data points, here we can find data broken out by fields of study. There are a couple of different sections where you can search by field of study, but in the section just below the main segment of the profile, you can both search through fields of study offered as well as discover the top five fields of study ranked by largest size, highest earnings, and lowest debt loads for graduates. Whether you find a field of study through the search bar or by clicking on one of the top fields of study in this table, you will get a breakdown of various data for that specific field of study. If you want to cycle through many different fields of study at this institution, you can navigate to see all fields of study, where you can get the breakdowns for all programs offered at the school on a single page. We're going to back up now and look at a way that you can browse institutions based on things like location or degrees offered. At the top of the page, on the search bar, hit the button that says clear. That will refresh the search fields. Now you can begin narrowing the list of schools that you're looking at by a number of characteristics. Let's say we want to look at all schools in Louisiana. That gives us data profiles for the 112 institutions in the state. This might be too big a group of schools to look at at once, so we narrow it down again by selecting only schools that offer bachelor's degrees. You can continue narrowing it down by specific characteristics and then look at the group of schools at a glance. Finally, College Scorecard allows us to compare up to 10 institutions at once. To add schools to this comparison, click on the check mark above their name. The option is also present on the school profile at the top of the profile. Once you've added the schools that you want to compare, click on the bottom pane that pops up and go to compare schools. This will give you a visualization of comparison data, including a range of median salaries. You can also add fields of study for individual schools and compare data on this using the tool. A 
couple of things to keep in mind about this data. The students included in this data set receive some form of financial aid from the federal government, whether that is loans or grants such as Pell. This leaves out a large number of U.S. students that do not fall into this category, and as a result, the data may not be representative of all in enrolled students at an institution. For earnings data, the figure is the median annual salary from the graduate's second year after completion, and graduates enrolled in another education program at the time that the data is sampled are not counted. Much of the data in the tool is also reported by the institution itself and is not guaranteed to be accurate by the Department of Education. However, the data on earnings is from the earned income records taken from tax filings submitted to the IRS. This covers the best way to use the tool to discover median postgraduate earnings. If you are looking to do more in-depth analysis across institutions, please check out the next video on using the College Scorecard's raw data.